Chris Maslowski, a Bruce Springsteen loving family man from Connecticut, is about to sit in that hot seat. He's just 10 away from winning the million with all of his lifelines left. Another night uh, in New York City with his wife away from the kids right here in the Big Apple. So what did you do? Uh, did you paint the town red? Did you take in the show? Did you stay out all night? Well, <laughs> what did you do with that soon, lovely woman? As soon as we left, we checked on the kids. Yeah. Went right back to the hotel and went to bed. <laughs> we don't get much sleep, so we took advantage of any sleep that we oh. could get. You're a wild guy, aren't I you? I am. I'm crazy. <laughs> And that wild man, Hamden's Chris Maslowski, joins us today. <laughs> that is right. Or as Regis calls him, the big Maslowski. <laughs> Welcome that. to the show, Chris. <laughs> Pleasure to be here. This is absolutely exciting. I mean, I mean, literally just a lifetime opportunity. What was it like? How did it all begin? And how did you get chosen? I mean, tell us how it all went down. I, uh, I was working in bed one night. I was watching the news, and the commercial came on for the promo for you know the anniversary edition and to be a contestant or in the audience, call this number. So they ask you five uh, fastest finger questions on the phone, and <laughs> somehow I got through and answered them all correct. Had to leave all my information, and they put me into a lottery. And a few weeks later, uh, I was actually golfing, and I got a call, and I actually hung up on a girl because I thought somebody <laughs> you did. was, you know, pulling my leg here. But uh, yeah, no, she called back, and she goes, "Yeah, we get that quite a bit." And you know, when I got home, I had the emails of all the forms to sign, and it, it didn't sink in until you were sitting there. Until well, we had rehearsals in b before the uh, before they taped the episode, and it's like wow, <laughs> like I'm here. So I'm sure everyone's asking you what was it like to sit across from Regis? Nerve wracking, I'm sure, right? The first night when when I answered the uh, the fastest finger question uh, correctly, I I just I think they edited it out quite a bit because <laughs> I was just not that I was rambling, but my voice is cracking. It was just like oh. I'm and you're doing fine considering he told me before he was more nervous sitting here with us than he was with Regis. Yeah, I think he was say lying. That. Yeah, no, I think no. he was lying. I've been watching you guys every morning for a long time, so I mean. <laughs> It's, it's more nerve wracking. We didn't pay him to say that. No, no. But we're happy to have you here. Listen, you're a trivia buff, right? Yeah, what do you do for a day job, though? I uh, work at Marlin up, uh, up in North Haven uh, as a production manager. Um, that's. Kids. I work and go home and play with the kids. And it, yeah. Speaking of your kids, I mean, you are a family man, and your kids are how old? The one is four? One's five. My son is five, five, and my daughter is two. So how cool was it for them? Did they understand at least your yeah, five-year-old? Can they grasp it? Well, the... Uh, when the car came to pick my wife and I up, the, uh, my son was a mess. He didn't want us to leave. Aww. My daughter was just like, yeah, Graham's here. Well, you know, see ya. <laughs> Whatever. Bye. Whenever you get back, you get back. Um, we, uh, on Thursday night, we went out to, uh, up to a restaurant up in North Haven to watch it. And I, th I, th I think it w what hit me, the, be the, the best part of this whole experience was my daughter running around, pointing up at the screen, saying, Daddy, Aww. Daddy. Aww. You know? That's so cute. That was awesome, that right there. Was... Very proud. We have to talk about how it all ended, because you're all watching uh -huh. it there at this party, <laughs> right? The viewing party yes. in North Haven. And in the end, you chose to walk away. So we want to take a look at your final question. <laughs> the 250,000, a howda is used for which of these purposes? Charming a snake, sitting on an elephant, blindfolding a hawk, taming a lion. Regis, I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna walk away. Final answer. Hey, $100,000 ain't, ain't bad at all, is it? Good luck, Chris. Thanks very much. Wow. I'm just watching your face as you're watching that. Is that a question that will haunt you for, forever? Forever. <laughs> forever. <laughs> At that point, obviously, you had used all of your lifelines, right? Every, every single one. And, you know, hindsight, and everybody says, what is it, hindsight is 50 50 or 20 whatever the saying is. <laughs> the, um, you know, I use my lifelines incorrectly, I, I think. But, mm. I mean, you know, I'm still not going to sneeze at all. Let me tell you something. You're grand. walking away still with a nice chunk I of am, change. I, am, I, I mean, am. really. But, Hello. I know. That's great. And how to is, how to is for riding an elephant. Yes. We all know now, and I'm sure your kids, well, that'll be one of the other things they'll be learning. <laughs> for, and they'll know yeah. forever. Just in case it ever comes up again. Did you yeah. have an inkling, any idea whatsoever? No, you just didn't want to risk it. I actually, I, they added a, a, a little bit of that time. But I was trying to talk it out. You know, I had 45 seconds. And... Whether, you know, the terminology I was using, I'm figuring a whip was for a lion, a uh, flute for snake charming, whether I, you know, I made any sense. You know, in my mind, I was making sense. You know, I couldn't figure out who would want to blindfold a hawk, you know, those uh -huh. were the other options. So, so would you have gotten it right had you gone with your gut? 
I didn't because it was torn because my knowing my luck, it would have been one or the other. You know. Right. And had you gotten one. it wrong, you would have lost everything. I would have. Lo- I would have dropped back down to twenty five thousand dollars. Twenty five thousand. What's your wife say? Um, <laughs> no, it's it, she was probably in more disbelief than I was. It was one of those things. We went into the city, and it's like, look, you know, this is an experience. You know, it's whether we, you know, we went there with whatever we had in our pocket, and if we left with something, then so be it. You know, but Aww. it was it was definitely one of those things. On the ride home, it just you know just kept slapping myself like no way. Yeah, yeah. and, and she smacked though. you a couple times. Oh, too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is true. We just want to know what's in the water in Hamden though, because the first million dollar yeah. winner was from Hamden to John Carpenter, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. He. Uh, I was hoping that you know I mean, maybe following the footsteps. We need to go wish. bathe in that water. If there's something. <laughs> <Maybe we do. laughs> but how cool is that? Now you got to tell us: Are there any more game shows in your future? No, probably not. Really? Is, uh, yeah, I've never gotten into any of those shows. This was one ten years ago when it was a big hit. Yeah, I, I, every like everybody else, you're trying to get through, and um, now this is a this is my once in a lifetime, and you know I'm, I'm wow. glad I got to, you know, spend it, you know, starting with Regis and and now with end you guys. ending with us. On a high note, <laughs> as we like to say, congratulations to you. Thank you Thank so you. much for being here, yes. Maslowski. The big Maslowski. The big Maslowski. That's right. Great to meet you. Thanks, you too. All right, don't go anywhere.